gap. So, prayer, it can range from the superficial to the profound. It can be simple conversation. It can evolve to progressively deeper levels of communication and eventually it becomes a state of communion. So, especially here when we all are maximum teachers and students are also here in this session, when a teacher talks to a student or conveys the content to the student, if the teacher has really worked hard and loves the thing what the teacher is doing, so when the teacher will be taking class or communicating, the love will lose out of us because the life will lose out of us. And if we are not interested, we are just going to take the class, there will be a gap. Why it happens that in certain classes, the students, you know, spill out silences there. And in some cases, they are moving out, they are moving in, there is a gap, there is a disconnection. So prayer is, it is not that we are seeking help from God, then only we, that is only the prayer. No. First connection starts with the, our own self. Am I going for any work, whether I'm talking to my wife, to my husband, to my children, to a shopkeeper, anything. When you go to a doctor, the very first moment, his touch, his one word, hey, how are you? It appeals us when we are so relaxed. And if suppose doctor is in a stressed state, you will get panicked, Are, is, is, is he a good doctor or not? Am I come to a correct place or not? So what is that reason? The only thing is there is a gap. There is no connection with that other person. So prayer is basically first my, I have to connect myself to my, my inner high self, higher self. Then only I can get connected to other person. So prayer basically thus evolves as a potent way to communicate with the self and leading to the higher self. A prayerful heart, it carries the fragrance of divinity. You know, sometimes when a certain person comes to us or when we are communicating with the teacher or a student, you feel so light and joyous and you were so stressed, but suddenly you feel so relaxed because the other person's heart is so prayerful that the purity is oozing out of that person. And it is an expression of love, you know, that can only be shared with the beloved. So who is beloved here and who is the lover here? We are the lover and we are the beloved. Whatever is my state of mind, if I am angry, I will ooze out angry. If I am in the state of prayerful mode, I will ooze out that only. So 24 into 7, every breath, every heartbeat, if it is drowned in a prayer, it keeps us alert to our goal. I'm focused for what I have to do. I'm not deviated by my surroundings. And this absorbency also helps us to recognize our defects and find possible solutions to remove them. Immediately it strikes home. Oh, I didn't, I spoke not, you know, I was wrong there. I need to correct myself. So I developed that courage to say, like first day when we saw that, we developed courage to say sorry and to hug that person. One of my colleague, a very junior colleague today only, was reacting for something, which was his just, there was a communication gap. So the colleague was moving away. The, the discussion was between two colleagues. I was just standing there. I was just observing. I went and I hugged both of them with my both the arms and I said, come on, yaar, bachche ko itta parishan mat karo. The moment I spoke, both of them smiled and then we all three sat and the issue was resolved. Nothing is so big. It is only is what is the unattended need of that person which needs to be attended. There is no, any reaction, whatever comes is, there is something which is, which has not been attended. Even if you don't solve the problem, if we are able to attend that, and when can we attend that issue? When we are settled in our hearts, when we are in a prayerful mode. So prayer is nothing. 
but it is a mode of connection and it is how we activate flow of energy that connects all of us here in a group if we are group of 100 people are we open like students are we open to receive to get connected to that person that depends on us we will force the other person to get connected to us it depends on our vibration so we all are nothing but we are just vibrations our vibration tuning fork is out of tune or it is running in the tune thus to establish a state of osmosis in that flow we need to be in this state so very simple thing like if just single thought that we all are developing correct thinking right understanding honest approach towards life they are attaining we all are attaining rightness in action and perfection in character it's a very simple prayer it comes out from our heart suppose there is something wrong going in my family immediately i know that i feel that this person is not correct but he is my own person what to do some we have to find out some subtler way in a department we all are a family entire society entire community and entire globe can't be separated we all are in a colony we are all human beings the purest of the pure beings so this very thought will change the environment i have experimented myself in the department we had a departmental council meeting so there was some tussle between one senior professor and one of the junior most hot discussion i was just sitting and praying like that oh my lord they all are developing right thinking and suddenly that everything surrounding me is deeply absorbed in the purity in the godly reverence and the it was from my core of my heart i wanted that the peace should prevail here and suddenly both of them settled down slowly 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 and the midway was resolved what okay what do you want what do you want let us come to the conclusion everywhere all our relationships we can enjoy every relationship by this connection by this prayer so prayer doesn't mean that something you know we are seeking from god no where is god god is within all of us we all are creation of god so where is the god in us the god is poured all the love all the purity the creator the manufacturer see how the speaker i am so grateful the words which he was he was speaking so core from core of his heart he spoke that what is important is the design he was so keen to pour his what whatever he had gained so that is prayer something when we are at the purest of the pure state so behind all these what is hidden what is prayer attitude towards my life is the prayer the concept is you know very similar to the way the fluids they create differentials across the boundary walls you know cell walls in plants and animals so that nutrient can flow into the cells for the nourishment same is in the prayer we create similar differential between the divine and ourselves and allow the purity the divinity to flow into us and to nourish us further this is simple science we create that differential by cultivating a state of vacuum in our heart so that the current of purity the divinity it flows in eventually leading to a state of osmosis the balance the homeostasis with our inner self higher self hence for the person who is standing in front of me it can be any one or if nobody is there the plants the space around me is in harmony which is resonating upon me like yesterday we saw the ripple impact that state of vacuity basically just as electrical current flows from positive to negative pole similarly this in an electrical wire similarly our job is to create that you know negative polarity by this purity by this prayer so more important is behind hidden behind this is our attitude what is our attitude that will bring to this communion it depends upon what on self compassion and connection both basically are what manner and matter 
manner and matter both leads to this communion. It is, this basically is dedicated to all the experimenters, the experimenter, the experimenter and the outcome. Outcome is a beautiful diamond from gold, it comes the diamond. So this is the prayer when we reach to that finite state. So let us all start practically, let us all experience it. I would request just close your eyes. Very gently close your eyes. Inhale. Very slowly and deeply. With all the joy and enthusiasm. And exhale it very slowly. Once again. Inhale and exhale. When we inhale, the purity, the divinity, the joy, the love is entering in us. When we exhale, all that love is oozing out of us, all that purity is oozing out of us. Bring your attention on your toes. Feel that your toy, toes are relaxed. All the stress is gone. Feel your ankles, your feet completely relaxed. Healing energy. Beneath your feet is running upwards. It's healing your calf muscles, your knee, your entire feet. Feel your sitting bone completely relaxed. Your lower back is also relaxed. Your upper back is also relaxed. Your entire back is completely relaxed. Feel your stomach muscles. They are at ease. All the stress is gone. Just relaxed. Bring your attention towards your chest muscles. They are also relaxed, completely relaxed. Your shoulders are melting. Entire load which you are carrying in your shoulders have melted away. They are just relaxed. Your entire arm is relaxed. All the stress has left through your fingers, your elbow, your knee joint, everything is relaxed. Bring your attention on your neck. All the stress is gone. Your neck is so soft and relaxed. Feel your lower jaw, the stress you were carrying in your lower jaw due to anger or anything is gone. Your lower jaw is so relaxed. Your entire face is relaxed. Your lips, your nose, your cheek muscles, your eyes, your forehead, your head. Your cheek muscles are relaxed. Your 
Your eyes are also so soft. Your face is softened. Your eyes are softened. In inner core of your heart, there is silence. Utter silence and peace. Now I'll give some commands, share some commands of prayer, which I will speak and you may recite in your heart, not loudly. O Master, Thou art the real goal of human life. We are yet but slaves of wishes, putting bar to our advancements. Thou art the only God in power to bring us up to that stage. O oh Master, Thou art the real goal of human life. We are yet but slaves of our wishes, putting bar to our advancements. Thou art the only God in power to bring us up to that stage. Just feel the heart, be centered there. The purity in the heart is oozing out of you. Your heart is at peace, contentment. Compassion, courage, clarity, everything surrounding you is deeply absorbed in body things. Every cell of the body. Every eye of the body is resonating with peace. Stay in this position for some time. Just to observe the inner condition with all the gratitude and joy. But thanking you all a lot. Whenever you feel like doing on your house, take your own time. Thank you so much, ma'am. It was very relaxing session. After this session, we feel very refreshed and energetic. Thank you so much. Platform is open if anyone wants to ask any question, any curiosity, or anything like that.
थैंक यू सो मच मैम थैंक यू I request participant if they have any question, then ask to ma'am directly. hello dear participants is there any question query from your side hello let's start then i thank you so much for thank you. that thank you thank you for three days thank you for you know blessing me this opportunity to be here on this platform i thanks one and all thank you so much so now we are leaving the meeting i request all participant please fill the feedback form it was provided in whatsapp group so dear participants and my moderators i am leaving the meeting we will meet on tomorrow at 9:30 the first session will be taken by the industrialist by the integrated microsystems